Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Bag Brigade. Hope everybody's having a good Thursday night. Um, I've had an okay day, with the exception of the repair guy and his repairs causing sawdust and every other kind of dust stirring up all over the house and aggravating my COPD, which is still aggravated. My chest is still pretty tight over that. I took a breathing treatment already. I'm probably going to have to take another one. But, um, eh, it is what it is, right? <laughs> we will do what we do. But I did manage to get Mama's the second half of Mama's cardigan started. I don't remember if I showed y'all this uh, when I was working on the first half. But this is what I got left in row number seven, these two points here. And then I got one more row that I have to do in this in this color, and then I switch. Uh, then I'll be well. I go until I run out of this color, and then I switch to the next skein, which is the burgundy color. And then I go until I run out of that skein, and then I switch back to the light color, and so forth and so on until I get to the other until I get it big enough to. Um, seam together and make the cardigan but uh, I did notice something that I did in the other half that I'm having to replicate when I went back to watch the tutorial to start to start this again because I couldn't quite remember exactly how it started so I just went to refresh my, me my memory when she's going in between um right like right here uh, well, let me get a point in, in in the points right here. She chained twos, but when I noticed when I was getting close, when I was finishing up the second half, I was only chaining one, and so I examined the the other half of this that I've already that I've finished as far as I could go because I only have so much of the arm right now. Um. I looked and and all all the way up into about halfway through it, I chained two, and then at some point, in 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 that half, I cha I swap I I chain I stop and I start chaining just one, so I figured, ugh, it's not like I can go back. I've already you know I'm not about to frog all of that, just to start you know just to just because I chained one and then I chained two. So what I figured I would do, because I've made this boo-boo, and, and in order to make a more cohesive piece, uh, of, you know, uh, garment, to make a cohesive garment, I would just duplicate the problem. <laughs> I don't know what else to do, right? So I figured I would, I, I, I figured out which row, based on the size of these holes here, these holes here, I figured out which row I started doing the chain one versus the chain two. So I, because I'm, well, I'm a detail person. I can figure out details. And so based on the size of these holes versus the size of the chain, chain one holes, uh, I could figure out which row I started doing the chain one. So that's when I'll, so I'm going to do chain twos until I get to that part of it, and then I'll switch to doing chain ones. That way I can duplicate the same results with this half of the cardigan as I did with the first half. That way they'll match when I go to seam them together. Make sense? I sure hope so. <laughs> That's my thinking anyway. That way it'll be a more cohesive piece and it'll, you know, it'll look even when I put it together. And it won't look odd. Because it's it's really... Well, the shrug I did last month, that would be really and truly my first wearable. Um, well, with, I mean, I don't really don't consider hats and scarves and, and, and cowls wearables. Not truly in this. I mean, uh, you know, yeah, you're wearing them, but they're not like clothing clothing. Um... But I would say the shrug was probably my first actual wearable. Uh, I mean, yeah, I made, I've made shawls, 
but I, that's a one size fits all kind of situation, you know. So the shrug was, you know, my, I would say my first um, wear actual wearable, and so um, you know, I and this being something, this this uh, cardigan being something that I'm making two halves of something and then seaming it together. This would be my first garment like that, that I'm, that I'm making two halves of a whole and then seaming it together. So that it, it, to me, it's important to get it right. It's just important that it looks even, uh, on both sides, you know, um, I can experiment later. <laughs> This time I want to get it right. So, oh, if you see something on my shirt, that's chilly. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had a little chilly for dinner and I got a little on this shirt. Oh, and uh, this is not the same shirt from yesterday. I just happen to have two or three of these exact same shirts. Um, <laughs> it's, my fa it's, it's my favorite color, my favorite style shirt. So I've ha I have several. Um, but, uh, and I did shower today. Thank you. <laughs> I just put the hat back on because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. But, um, and Nancy's wearing hers uh, almost in all her videos. And Llama Mama Kayla's wearing it hers in all her videos. And here I am just wearing mine willy-nilly whenever I feel like it. So, I'm not part of that. Huh. I gotta be part of it. If I'm gonna be part of it all the time, I'm gonna be part of it all the time. But, um, I did see her video that she's, um, if y'all hadn't seen Llama Mama Kayla's video, she is home and, um, doing fairly well, as well as can be expected since they had to take her whole finger, um, her whole pinky finger, which really is sad and depressing. But she is a trooper. She has fantastic husband and sons that love her very much and that are taking excellent care of her. So, uh, no doubt about that. Uh, and she'll answer texts and calls when she's up to it, I'm sure. But, um, I don't expect any of that. How you don't, I, I don't expect responses to text messages with, you know, with a messed up hand. That's, that's just ridiculous to at, expect her to respond to text messages. But, uh, anyway, um, we continue to pray for her and that her healing and recovery is a speedy one and that she has less pain going forward. But uh, mom's cardigan ought to be done by Christmas. I'm pretty sure. I mean, based on my progress today and my progress thus far, because it is a thicker yarn than uh, the other cardigan I'm working on for her, which I will get back to after I get my main project's done. Ooh, and I gotta take another breathing treatment. I'm really getting short of breath. But, um, I might have to cut this one short, y'all. I hate to, but I'm really having trouble. But, uh, anyway, I just want to kind of come on and give y'all a status on where I'm at with at least one of my projects. And I will work on, um, uh, my other two projects probably, uh, tomorrow and the weekend. And, um, just not feeling well today. Not feeling well this evening. But, uh, I'm gonna probably try to attend, uh, Nancy when she's got Yarn 2's, uh, live that she's holding with, uh, over there at the Crafty Floridian's channel. Uh, with the Boggy Creek, um, uh, blanket drive that she's doing. I'm still working on my two that, um, I'm, I'm planning on sending. Um. I just got to get back on them. I'm, you know, I got three projects going. I got this cardigan going and those two little blankets. And I'm one person <laughs> with carpal tunnel. So I have to take frequent breaks, which takes me twice as long to do anything because of that. But uh, not making excuses, just explaining. But uh, I did want to do my vlog and let y'all know where things are. And um, shout out to... Uh, Kayla and let her know that I'm thinking about her and um, let y'all know that she did do a video and um, I, if y'all hadn't seen it but um, I love you all I'm gonna go do another 
breathing treatment and um, charge my phone so that I can go to this live here in a, a bit. And, um, and hopefully be able to uh, enjoy chatting uh, in the chat uh, with the live and look at those pretty blankets that have been sent in. But um, I love y'all. God bless you. Remember to adopt, don't shop. Um, your best friend could be waiting for you at the shelter. Uh, mine's over there behind the camera laying across my bed looking cute as he can be. <laughs> I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.